So I was looking for the cheapest paddleboard I could find on Amazon and the cheapest one at the time, coming in at around 150 was this Go Plus inflatable paddleboard. So I bought it and this is how it went. I was specifically looking for a paddleboard under 10 feet because it comes with a hidden benefit for a lot of states. This Go Plus board fit the bill coming in at 9.8 feet. The paddleboard arrived well packaged. On top of the box there is a warning not to use a knife, which naturally I ignored because I'm a rebel. But you do need to be very careful opening the box not to cut the board. Probably shouldn't use a knife. Inside the box pretty much everything is well packaged in its own separate bag. You have the main paddleboard, the backpack and the manual, the patch kit with a valve tightening handle, the fin, an ankle leash, the pump and the paddle. The main paddleboard comes covered in what looks like shrink wrap, which is rather satisfying to remove. So to set up, the pump has a hose that needs to be screwed in at the pump, and then you twist and turn to lock it in place at the valve. The pump has a convenient pressure gauge at the top which is very easy to read. Now as to actually pumping up this paddleboard, it's a bit of a chore. It took me a little over 6 minutes of non-stop pumping to get it up into the green. I definitely recommend some type of electric pump at least to get the initial air fill and then finish it off with a hand pump. If not, taking breaks would probably be advisable for most people. Once you're done pumping, replace the plug and you are good to go. Small little note, when you need to deflate the board, remove the plug and apply firm pressure to the red button in the middle. It takes a little bit of force to get it to start releasing air. The fin at the bottom of the board slides firmly into place and there is a latch type clip that clicks into place. I noticed some of the reviews saying they lost the fin and honestly I don't know how that's possible if it was attached correctly. It's in there very securely. Maybe they updated the design since then but I don't see this accidentally falling out. The paddle that comes with this is actually very sturdy and seems well built and like any good paddleboard or it is adjustable. You can spin the clip to tighten if it's too loose when you close the clamp on the adjustable part of the paddle. The last thing I want to mention is the leash that comes with it seems pretty sturdy and well built. Also the carrying case is very comfortable and it can be carried like a case or you can wear it like a backpack if you need to hike wherever you're going to paddleboard. And with the paddleboard weighing around 23 pounds, you could take it pretty much anywhere. The backpack is also large enough to fit all accessories that come with this board. So with the setup being done, let's take this to the lake and talk about performance. The board handles very well and was easily able to support me and I weighed 245 pounds, which is almost at its 253 pound recommended weight capacity limit. My brother who is well under the limit also had no issues using it. The board rides smooth and is surprisingly stable for a 9.8 feet long and 30 inch wide board. Which brings me to why I wanted a board under 10 feet. Now in my state and several other states I checked. You are supposed to get an invasive species sticker on paddle boards and boats that are over 10 feet in length. Now this sticker isn't super expensive, but it's nice not to have to worry about it. And from my research it seems like most people don't bother getting it even if they need it. And you would need to check your local state's rules to make sure if this applies to you. But the fines for the sticker can be pretty steep, so it pays to know the laws and in my case know that I don't have to worry about that law with this board. So to sum it all up, I'm very pleased with the quality of this board. From the build quality to the included paddle and pump, everything surpassed my expectations. The large fins underneath help keep this board stable and easy to steer and paddle. All this being within reason, if you get too fancy on it, it's still possible to fall off. 